oh my god what is this oh wow holy moly this is an absolute doormat of a flounder what the heck Might be a keeper, guys. Look at that beautiful fish. Oh, wow, this is a big one. What's up folks? I never really introduced myself, but my name's Ray. This is my channel, South Texas Fishing Fam. And today, we're gonna be targeting whatever, using live and lure, trying to catch something to barbecue in the pit later in the day. See if we can make some kind of fish tacos, guys. We're gonna be using some, uh, probably some down south lures and some voodoo shrimp, along with some live shrimp that we got here in the bucket. Daiwa Coastal. Shimano, Corrado, MGO. All right guys, let's get out there and start casting and see what we get. Today we're gonna be working this bridge here, this bridge structure, to see what we get guys. The tide seems to be moving that way, so we're gonna try on the other side here in a bit. But uh, let's rig up and let's finish rigging up, get our stuff together and uh, we'll get out there. All right guys, like I said, the tide's moving this way. So we are gonna try to cross to the other side to get that tidal movement. More than likely, the fish will be sitting on this side. Ambushing bait. As it's uh, passing by the bridge. Voodoo shrimp have a little slit right here, guys. What I'm gonna do is put some shrimp pokey right up in that little hole and uh, give it that shrimp flavor. Just going to make sure we put a lot. when I'm not. Ooh, it's like a nice child. We're gonna buy when I'm not recording. I'm a Buddha shrimp, guys. Ooh, it's just popping it. Right there on that piling. Ooh, might be a keeper, guys. Look at that beautiful fish. Beautiful child. Beautiful, beautiful child. Let's see what we're gonna land, guys. Whew. That's a thick, beautiful trout, guys. Amazing. Second cast on the voodoo shrimp. Third cast, I mean. That'll work. Wow. Like I said, guys, the bridge structure here, the fish are hanging to it. It's a little deeper. A lot of stuff down there the fish can feed on also. All right, guys, to keep here, we got to have three between 17. And 23, and this guy is 19. So 19 inch trout, guys. That'll keep the thick, beautiful trout. Oh, wow. Nice 
19 inch shot on a voodoo shrimp. Third cast of the day. All right, let's get back out there, guys. See if there's any more fish they want to eat this voodoo. Oh, had a bite off the bat. Drop. Not sure what that was. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, it's just bouncing on the bottom. Oh my god. Bottom bouncing, guys. Oh my god. Voodoo shrimp. Wow. He inhaled it. It's a doormat flounder, guys. Look at that. Oh my god. Woo. Perfect hook set, too. Woo. Beautiful on that booty. Oh my god, let's go, guys. Inhaled it. Wow, look at that. Sheesh. On the Corrado MGL. Ooh, that would have been a keeper, guys. This is no no flounder season at the moment till December 15th. And unfortunately, we're gonna have to release it. Voodoo shrimp, guys. Look at that. You can see the ice in the voodoo. How crazy is that? Beautiful flounder. Wow. All right, guys. Quick measurement before we release this beauty. She's 19. Oh, all right, guys. Let's get this fish hook and get it back in the water. So I can survive. Right now they're not in season. What a beautiful fish. Wow. Let's get her back in. Oh! It took off. Wow. Beautiful fish, guys. Whew. All right, guys. What a way to start the day. Flounder trout what's next redfish are we gonna get slam on this voodoo we'll see Try a random cast here in between these pilings here in the middle of the bridge. See what we get, guys. See if there's any fish hanging out in between these pilings. Right here in the middle. Out. Shrimp. This one does not seem to be a keeper, so I'm gonna quickly get her off. You're back in the water. It's kind of slippery, so I'm gonna just toss her back in. That, that green stuff right there, guys, is super slippery. I ain't trying to fall. Let's get back out there.
right there. Oh, got another strike. Ah, these are trout guys. Let's see if they're keepers. Sixteen inches, guys. Go right back in. Oh, we can I'll come over here, guys. I was having a lot of strikes over here. Instantly, they might have been some small ones, but there might be a keeper or two in there. Just need two more to get our limit. From there, we'll use some uh, live shrimp to see what uh, what else we get, guys. Mm. Oh, that's a nice one. Little fish in the voodoo. I hit him on the drop. See what it is. Another trout. Heck yeah. Might be too small. Looks like to be the same size as the last 16. We're just going to release them. Beautiful fish though. The Rudy guys. That one. A bigger one. Shaker coming towards me. Ooh. Mm. They all seem to be the same size. This one looks a little bigger though. Let's see if it's a 17. Fifteen. We go back in, guys. Beautiful fish. On. back in guys uh, 15 inches beautiful trout see if we can get them back in there without falling in the water Hey guys, there he goes. All right, guys, I kind of slow down. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch up to live bait. We're gonna go to live shrimp now. 
Let's see what we get. Live shrimp on a Carolina rig. We're gonna test the waters. See if any fish wanna bite. See if there's any kind of fish here they wanna eat live shrimp, guys. Oh, these are some feisty shrimps too. Hell. Alright. Come to the head. We're gonna get him out there and see if there's any drum or red flounder trout. Anything that wants to hit this. Pretty live shrimp we got here. something but something small all right guys big old central got board casting the bait i might try to cast net some mullet here in a few but right now i went back to throwing the voodoo Like I said, I got bored with the bait. Just bought it bouncing, I got the thumb. Pretty solid now. I'm gonna have a good hook set right now. Oh, something had it. Oh my god, what is this? Oh wow. Holy moly. This is an absolute doormat of a flounder. What the heck? Wow. Doormat of a flounder. What the heck? Get the heck out of here. Oh my god, that thing is so huge. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Look at that. That is a beast. Oh wow. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Look at that. On the voodoo shrimp, guys. Insane. Let's get the measurement on this doormat, guys. This guy is 22 and a half inches, guys. 22 and... Let me get down here so you can see it. Barely about to hit 23. Twenty-two and a half inch doormat flounder. Oh my god, let's go. Look at that, you got the voodoo shrimp all the way up in there. Alright, got it out guys. Just as I said the bite was slowing down, this nice doormat flounder wanted to come and bite. On the voodoo shrimp too, my dudes. Insane flounder. Let's go. It hurts me to release this beautiful fish, but she got to go back in, guys. Right now, they're not in season. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Oh, wow. Such a beautiful fish. Some slabs out here right now. <laughs> That's a big one, bro. Oh shoot, just like the one I had caught earlier. Like a 20 right there, bro. Like a 19. Whew. He's playing with it right now, having fun. <laughs> Woo! That's a nice one, bro. It's a nice 19 inch.
I'm bouncing this voodoo. I think I got another flounder, guys. Give it two, three, two, one. Oh, shit. It's a monster. Slabs today, guys. 19s, 20s, and up. Let's right, see how big this storm at is. She's 18, guys. Thick 18 inch flounder. Another beautiful flounder. This one's 19 or 18. Not 19, 18 inches. Beautiful fish. dragging it then I just got stuck I don't necessarily think I'm stuck I think it's a flounder we're gonna set the hook in three two oh wow this is a big one. Oh wow oh my god another big one Ooh, see that guys The measurement on this beauty for a releaser 19 inches another 19 inch flounder beautiful fish guys look at those dots amazing fish on the voodoo shrimp look at that awesome yeah, look at that guys voodoo shrimp right there beautiful fish another beautiful flounder guys Slabs today, all in the voodoo. I have to go back in, guys. Off into the deep she goes. Whew. Awesome. All right, guys, the bite started to slow down, but y'all can't knock this lure, guys. This right here was amazing today. The voodoo shrimp caught me a handful of smaller trout, one big, fat, juicy one to take home, and then after that the doormat bite started one big fat juicy doormat after another big flounders fortunately we had to release them all that's how it goes the season's closed guys it's better for our future generation fishermen to keep catching these beautiful fish now this is south texas fishing fam make sure you hit that like comment and don't forget to subscribe guys there's a large amount of y'all that are not subscribed it's free now i'm ray this is my channel south texas fishing fam we are oh my god guys look at that that is a beast oh wow 